These hills are hiding treasure, and we are off to plunder it all. I've got 300 treasure maps. Let's go get us some booty. It's treasure hunting time. I'm getting close to level 200 and haven't really explored the treasure maps in the game. I hear you can get some rare plants from them, so I've been hoarding and have 300 maps to use. I just want to know, what all do you get from treasure maps? Well, today we're going to find out. I went ahead and cleared out my inventory to make room for all this booty and just brought the essentials. Luck can affect the condition of the gear we find, but the rest is up to our kind yet sometimes very cruel RNG mistress. I'm feeling like today is going to be a good day though, so let's check these spots out. I have at least five of each map, and as I know the loot in the forest usually isn't that great, I've limited those to five each. I used this guide made by Dolphy to help me track down each treasure mound. Link is down below. Alright, let's dig in. Forest number one is located outside Point Pleasant. The treasure mound is under the bridge leading into town facing north. You don't need a shovel for these, just the corresponding map. So when you have more than one map, it's good not to spam dig it, as there have been reports of people who've had more than 10 at once that had server stability issues when they do. So I just like to give the maps a second or two between each dig, and I didn't have any problems. I'm going to go over all the loot region by region a little later in the video. Forest treasure map number two is near Camp Adam's Lookout. It's buried in the cooking pit at this little campsite here. Forest treasure map number three is above Charleston Landfill. There's a playground up here and the mound is buried underneath the monkey bars. Forest treasure map number four is right at Anchor Farms. It's hidden underneath the wing of the plane that's right out front. Forest treasure map number five is at Charleston Train Yard. There is a broken down boxcar that the treasure is buried right in there. Forest treasure map number six is nearby the overseer's camp on the banks of the river over there. Forest treasure map number seven is at Widow's Perch, buried right by the billboard on the hill. And forest treasure map number eight is southeast of Gorge Junkyard. When traveling east along the railway bridge, it'll be buried on the riverbanks underneath the trees. Forest treasure map number nine down south of Summersville. It's buried near the deck of this home on the outskirts of town. And finally, forest treasure map number 10. We find ourselves at Greg's Mine Supply facing south in the little ravine on the left cliffs will be our last forest treasure mound. Alright, it's time for that booty breakdown. We came into the forest with 50 maps and ended up with some okay loot. If you want a more in-depth rundown of all the goodies I got, I documented it all in a tidy little spreadsheet. Link is down below. Your loot will be leveled, so these are all based on the fact that I'm over 50. In the 8 category, we found a few essentials to help with survival and 16 addictal. We found 11 mods, but they were all barbed walking king. Ammo was really plentiful, we ended up with all this good stuff. Each gun you find will always show up with corresponding ammo. Armor was also great, we found 45 pieces of varying types, all of them came standard except 9 pieces which had been modded. 
Weapons were the same case as armor, all came standard with a few exceptions. I found 42 weapons, 10 of which were modded. When you loot from the treasure mound, it just states the type of weapon and doesn't read out the whole name with mods, so you'd have to look into it in your inventory. We got some pretty good stuff though. And what I really came for were the plans. I dug up 42 plans. I did already know all of the ones from the forest I found here, which isn't surprising. And of course we found 11 single action revolver ivory grips, but we found some decent armor mods. With the scrapper perk card equipped, I scrapped all the stuff we found and unlocked some weapon and armor mods that I didn't know yet. After it all, we ended up with all this good junk. Moving on to the Toxic Valley. Toxic Valley treasure map number one is right outside Beggar Farm on the riverside near a broken shed. Toxic Valley treasure map number two is above Clarksburg. The diggable mound is on the hill when you are facing the water tower to the east of you. Toxic Valley treasure map number three is by Pioneer Scout Camp. It's near the beached broken sailboat in the lake. And Toxic Valley treasure map number four is south of the crashed space station. It's on the ridges above with the station to the north of you. All right, we had 29 maps from the Toxic Valley and our haul wasn't too bad. We got different eight items this time and some various junk items. Only five mods, but at least they aren't all the same. Ammo again came with the guns, got a good mix of stuff here. Of all the 23 armor pieces, 9 were just a little bit more special. 47 weapons this time, no melee, all of them are ranged, 13 of which had some sort of mod or another. And for the plans, we got 31 plans, with a few of them mods for raider power armor and raider power armor pieces. 6 plans I didn't know before. Nice! Now to scrap it all. Breaking down all these weapons and armor I'm never going to use has been really helpful unlocking mods for my legendary gear. And here's the junk we ended up with after it all. Okay, the Ash Heap has only two map spots. Ash Heap treasure map number one is at AMS testing site. The mound is located above the tunnel opening up on the left. Heap treasure map number two, which in game is mislabeled as number seven, is located near a jeep by Hornwright Air Purifier Site number one. That's it for the ash heap. Let's see what we got. For our eight items, we didn't get a whole lot, but we did only have 14 maps. Only two mods this time. And some decent ammo to go with the weapons that we got. We found 13 pieces of armor, with only two of them with mods. Our weapons were okay, 12 weapons, all ranged, with four that had some sort of mod on them. It's fine, we're just gonna scrap them anyways. And the best part of the treasure maps are the plans. With Ash Heap, we got some goodies for our excavator power armor and the T-45. 16 plans total, including the plans to make the flamer. Smokin'. The Savage Divide is up next. There are 10 spots and I have a whopping 122 Savage Divide maps. They were just the most common I found. Hopefully we can carry it all. Savage Divide treasure map number one is southwest of the Federal Disposal Field HC21. It's hidden to the right of this caution sign. Savage Divide treasure map number two is at New Appalachian Central Train Yard. It's down the tracks when you're facing north.
Savage Divide treasure map number three is right where the tip of the top of the world is. It's buried right next to a fallen ski lift cart. Savage Divide treasure map number four is at Solomon's Pond. It's buried near the bridge of the pond. Savage Divide treasure map number five. It's right above Blackwater Mine in front of the billboard that's overlooking the mine. Savage Divide treasure map number six is down the path of the Palace of the Winding Path. It's going to be hidden among the cliffs. Savage Divide treasure map number seven is down the cliffs from South Mountain Lookout. You kind of have to scale down the mountain to find it. Savage Divide treasure map number eight is northwest of North Cutthroat Camp. It's buried at a guardrail outside this lookout. And Savage Divide treasure map number nine is down the hill from Autumn Acre Cabin. The mound is gonna be buried among the flowers down here. And Savage Divide treasure map number 10 is east of Bailey Family Cabin, right near the Fissure site, and next to this broken down truck. Okay, now for the Savage Divide breakdown. We had 122 maps, so you know we're going to be hella over encumbered. We only got two different aid items, but we got 40 Psycho Buff and 33 Psycho Tats, which is awesome. We picked up some miscellaneous treasure worthy junk items and made out with 26 mods, all for melee weapons, and really, they're not too bad either. A whole bunch of different ammos, which means we got a pretty good mix of weapons this time. From our 122 maps, we found 109 pieces of armor, 30 of which were notable. Okay, let's check out our arsenal. Ooh, we made out like a bandit, 90 pieces, with 20 of them having some sort of mod or another. Okay, on to my favorite part. Now with the plants, I ended up with 129 plants, which is too many to fit on the screen, so I'm gonna break it down by type. 34 camp plants, a few repeats, nothing super spectacular, but these will make great gifts to new players. We found 44 armor plants, a couple I didn't know. There's some really good stuff here too, like the Brotherhood combat armor legs, light robot arms. Gonna stock up my vendor with these. Weapon plans, we came up with 31, a few that are new to me, and we got the plans for the Cryolator and the Chinese Officer Sword. Also some Ultra Sight weapon mods, which aren't the most common to find. And power armor, tons for repeats. I'm gonna be like Oprah and just give these away, but we did find the plans to make the T45 chest piece, which is a well sought after plan. Now to scrap 1100 pounds of unneeded gear, with Scrapper I ended up with enough junk to last me a long while. Off we go, trudging through the mire. Mire treasure map number one is east of Hopewell Cave, buried near the edge of a cabin found here. Mire treasure map number two is at the end of the train tracks, west of treetops. It's buried in front of the blocked tunnel.
your treasure map number three is near the bridge southwest of Southern Bell Motel on the side of the road. Be careful, a giant hermit crab lives here. Meyer treasure map number four is under the bridge near Crevice Dam. It's really easy to get to, just be sure not to wake up the gulpers nearby. The last treasure mound in the mire is kind of hard to spot, but mire treasure map number five is southwest of the Excelsior model home. It's hidden among the tall grass. Okay, let's check out our loot. 46 maps from the mire, and in the aid category, we just got one XL. <laughs> a lot of thrift store treasure junk and 14 mods. Again, all for melee weapons. I'm sensing a trend in that department. A lot of diverse ammo types. Ooh, 300 fuel, nice. Now for armor, it looks like we have 37 pieces total, nine of which are built to give you just a little bit extra protection out there. I ended up with a total of 90 ranged weapons, with only 25 of them being something that you could write home about. Now, on to the good stuff. We got 49 plants total, 15 of them being camp plants. Looks like the makings of a college dorm. 13 armor plants, only one that was new to me. Great stock for my shop. And 8 weapons plants, including the war drum, which costs over a thousand caps at vendor bots. We have 12 power armor plans with a good mix of mods for different types and 4 plans for pieces. Those T-51B plans were why I wanted to dig up these treasures to begin with. I'm a happy girl. Okay, let's scrap the crap and see what's left over. Hmm, not bad. Last region is the Crimeberry Bog. We're almost done. There are 4 spots and I have 39 maps for this locale. Cranberry Bog treasure map number 1 is under a bridge east of Appalachian Antiques. Cranberry Bog treasure map number two. It's east of the Ranger Lookout Tower underneath the bridge. Cranberry Bog treasure map number three. The diggable mound is on the pond edge west of Overgrown Sundew Grove. And finally, the mound for Cranberry Bog treasure map number four. It's buried near the support structure just north of Pylon V13. All right, and that was the last of the maps. Let's get the rundown. In the aid category, we got four items. Okay, okay. And a few shiny little trinkets. 13 melee weapon mods, including the Deathclaw Gauntlet Extra Claw, which is one of my favorites. Oh, we got some good ammo. That's a lot of 10 millimeter rounds. All right, armor. Looks to be 33 pieces, with nine of them being non-standard. And our weapons. 72 range weapons with a nice mix of stuff. We have 20 of those that have been modded. And now we have the last of the plans, 29 this time, with only a few duplicates, 8 different camp plans, 
10 armor plans, including the marine tactical helmet, 7 weapon plans, the missile launcher targeting computer is definitely new to me, and only 4 power armor plans. That's okay, I'll sell that extra T-51 chest piece for some caps and we got something for the T-60 here. I'm so ready to lose all this extra weight and put this junk to some good use. 300 treasure maps later. Man, that was definitely one long video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. This definitely gave me more of an idea of what type of loot I can expect from treasure maps region to region. I'll probably keep hoarding more until I unlock all the plans I can and share my extras with everyone else. You can get some rare stuff and I unlocked a ton of mods just by scrapping all the extra gear. I say maps are worth it just for that alone, but mostly for the plans. Have you found anything extra special from treasure maps? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to let me know and drop a like too. Making videos like this is a lot of work, it takes days, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 76 videos just like this. I'm Wickedy, and until next time, bye!